We are recording in three, two, one. What is up, guys, and welcome back to the John Q channel. Thanks so much for watching. In this video, I'm telling you the three reasons why you, you most definitely need to be on TikTok. It doesn't matter if you're a brand, a business, an artist, a musician, no matter what you are and what area you're in, you need to be in TikTok in 2020. And if not, like right now. So let's get into it. Three reasons why you need to be on TikTok. Number one, it's got the attention. Number two, it has the awareness. And number three, it's explosive. And for those already in the mindset of, well, I have Facebook, I have Instagram, I'm good to go, right? Like, I don't need to be on TikTok. It's just for young people. Like, here, it's just only for the, for the little kids. I would very politely disagree with you because I have seen firsthand what TikTok can do to one person, what TikTok can do to a brand. Okay, multiple brands and businesses are now jumping into TikTok. Why? Because of the three things, the awareness, the attention, and it's explosive. Okay, for example, let's take me, for example. I'm pulling up a screenshot from October 1st of this year. Okay, at 6.57 p.m., I had 62 followers with 60 videos, right? And that's not a lot, obviously, just getting into this. Fast forward to November 19th, which is today, right now, I have 15.3 thousand followers on TikTok. That in and of itself is amazing. I'm on YouTube, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Snapchat, I'm on Twitter. The amount of followers combined does not equate to 15.3 thousand. Okay, so from October 1st to November 19th, I gained 15,000 followers. Now, I didn't do anything crazy. I didn't do, I didn't put myself like way out there as you, you know, people might think. Now, you may think to yourself, do I need to make something viral or do I need to be even more crazy? Do I have to be crazy even though I'm not crazy? Like, what do I do to get that many followers? And let me just say this, it's not a crazy amount of followers in a short amount of time. Like I've seen other people get 70,000, 100,000 in like a few weeks, a couple days. But that's like, that's, that's, that's why I'm talking about TikTok. It's explosive. It's what you need to be on because the attention's here. I'm going to, I'm going to get into it. I get excited. I get excited about it. Okay. Back to this screenshot. On October 1st, I started posting a lot more on TikTok because I was like, you know what? Let me just give this app a chance. Let's see what I can do and see what kind of content the market responds to. This is what I posted after that was I duct taped my phone to a drone and you know, I flew it in the air. And so this is that video. What you're saying is I shouldn't attach my phone to the drone and fly it, right? Well, yeah, of course you should. Like you I should, wait, yes, I, of course I should? No, you should not. But I feel like it would be just, I'm interested in seeing what that would look like on a phone. I don't think you should do that, babe. You're positive I shouldn't do it? I'm afraid that it would fall off and then you would break your drone and your phone. Okay, so what I'm hearing you say for the last time, do not attach my phone to the drone. By what did you do? I, well, I'm thinking about doing it. Don't. Okay. So this screenshot right here, October 3rd. On October 3rd, two days after I posted the video of me duct taping my phone to my drone, I have 1,500 followers and 12.4 thousand likes. So in the span of two days, I gained more than like a thousand followers, more than 1,300 followers, and I gained a lot of likes on that one video. Now, let me remind you, I wasn't trying to make it big. I wasn't trying to get viral on TikTok. That one video, for some reason, TikTok grabbed it and then it sent it out to about 500 people in the first two to three hours. And then after two days, after seeing the likes and the comments, it started generating more interest. And so that's how I got more followers and more likes on that one video and my overall profile. And that same kind of thing has been happening every now and then when I post content, right? So there've been a few videos that kind of just shot up and then, okay, I got a you know, few hundred more followers within a couple days, a couple more thousand more likes and, and so on and so forth, right? And then something really funny happened. I went to Alaska. Now, let me get into the backstory. I saw Ski Mask, the rapper, and his girlfriend walk into the airport and they were all dressed in Louis Vuitton, nice shoes, nice clothing. And I'm like, okay, these guys have a lot of money. There's a story to them. How do I capitalize on it? And that's just how I think, like how, how can I make this a moment worth sharing and worth telling, right? How can I make a story out of it? The people that I was with were kind of like, dude, don't do anything, it's fine, just it's too early, like we have to get on this flight, don't worry about that. But I just, I kept pressing on because I'm, I'm all about creating that content, creating, just, just 
just doing it, getting it, grinding it. Sorry, I'm, just, I'm getting excited again. I did something, and the whole experience of him paying me $60 to get in front of me because he needed to get on a flight, and the line was literally so, so long. MSP was just, it was backed up for, for days, okay? I just, I, I took out my phone and I started filming. I started filming different bits and pieces of what was going on, like this guy paying me 60 bucks. And mind you, what TikTok does is it favors content that has music behind the video. So I didn't talk. I had video behind it and I had little captions pop up, you know, every couple of seconds. So this is that video here. After I posted that video, I was like, all right, let's see what happens. And at first I thought, you know what, this isn't good enough. So I reposted it a different time, which was I think an hour later when we were kind of getting on the airplane. So I reposted it then thinking, okay, this is not gonna do well. I get, <laughs> this is crazy. We, we, you know, we do the flight, we have two stops. You go to Seattle and then we go to Alaska. And I checked my phone after this flight and I have hundreds of followers following me. And I get notifications saying 231 followers followed you and 100 followers followed you and so many likes and so forth. And so long story short, by the end of that trip, on October 27th at 7.45 p.m., I had 10.4 thousand followers, all because of one video. So a couple things come to mind. One, I didn't do anything viral, like do anything crazy out of my comfort zone. I didn't try to do it. It kind of just happened. Number two, the way that I used that video and the TikTok app all correlated together to, catch, to capture that one moment, and it TikTok distributed that one moment to the world, quite literally. Again, I wanna say that TikTok is those three things. It's got the attention, it has the awareness, and it's explosive. Take me, for example, that's literally what happened. And from that point on, I, I realized I can make it on this TikTok app. I can literally do something. And from October 27th to November 19th, in less than a month, like literally less than a month, not even 30 days, I'm at 15.3 thousand. To me, is incredible. I never thought that I would have more than 10,000 followers on one given platform. To have 15,000 on TikTok is just, it's crazy, right? And so, so, from that, I'm getting different people reaching out to me about brands and sponsorships and like kind of, you know, some partnerships in the works, all because of me wanting to take hold of the app. It's not just for young people. I have to utilize it for me because I want to be a YouTube personality. I, I want to be in that world, in that business. And so, like I said, whether you're a business, a brand, a personality, musician, artist, you need to be exploiting your talents, your skills, your gifts into TikTok. If you're, if you're any one of those people, any one of those things, and you have uh, the desire to grow in that skill set, whatever you're into, you need to be on TikTok because it's just so many people. It's got the attention. The attention is so important. We've heard it. All over it, content is king, but also the attention is double king. It, I, I don't know if that's a thing. I mean, it just it really is kind of crazy to think that one app could control a lot of the attention. I think it's siphoning off a lot of Instagram's followers, a lot of Facebook followers, and I mean, it's got like 180 million daily users, I think, or something like that. It, so the, the way that you use TikTok needs to be different than how I use TikTok. Make fun, entertaining content pertaining to your business. It doesn't have to be all corporate, you know, suits, we're at a meeting doing this, these are the numbers for next year's, no, like kind of flip it, because TikTok favors non-quality made videos, if that makes sense. So instead of pulling out your DSLR, pull out your iPhone and just film something entertaining. If you're in the music side, if you're an artist, you need to be showcasing your talents on this app. If you play guitar, play guitar. Between 10 and 15 seconds, and showcase like your best guitar playing or singing. Piano player, drummer, whatever you are, you need to be doing this kind of content. You need to start thinking a little bit different only because those three things are now in TikTok. They were on Facebook, they were on Instagram. People said Facebook was all for the young kids and now the old people need young kids to market to Facebook and to market to the market. TikTok is here guys. TikTok is one of the apps that you need to be going hard on and if you're not, you're going to lose and you're going to regret it. And then you're gonna be like, oh, I should probably get on TikTok because everybody else is on TikTok. Meanwhile, me and other people are like, oh, we have thousands and thousands of followers. Sorry that you didn't catch up. Sorry that you, 
sorry that you didn't get on the platform quick enough or early enough. And there it is guys, my two cents on the three reasons why you need to be on TikTok. Like, you need to be on it now. Like, get, make an account today and start posting content. Start posting content that you like, try different things, and try to make it on the app. Like, that's what I'm trying to do. Now again, you don't have to try to make it, but if you're running a business, if you're an artist, if you're an entrepreneur, you need to be on TikTok because you can siphon a lot of that attention, a lot of business, you can sell your product down there, you can make entertaining content that pertains to you and your business. So it's all a cyclical circle of life that needs to be on TikTok. You need to be on it. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you found this valuable and if you found this helpful, please drop a like, drop a comment as to what you learned from it, and please subscribe to the channel. And thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time on the Johnny Q channel. Peace. All right, I gotta go make a TikTok. I'll see you later.